We all have that place we go back to, where we know, where we feel good, where we feel comfortable. And for me, that has to be Two Mile Gate. And here's why. Good morning. How are you all today in this beautiful morning? It's not beautiful, it's a bit grey and dull. But yes, welcome to this week's episode where I'm going to take you on my first vlog anniversary. So why was a vlog anniversary? Okay, so I started YouTubing last year in the middle of January and I posted my first video on YouTube. Now, I really enjoyed the whole process of it. Uh, it takes a lot of effort, but you always get back what you put into the kind of things, you know. Now, I have currently have 33 videos on YouTube and I have how many? 509 subscribers with 26,000 views, which is absolutely brilliant. I, I love it. Those numbers aren't going to break the bank. They're not going to be unbelievable, but they're unbelievable to me. And to get where I am today so far is just unreal. I'm so delighted that I actually got up off my arse and decided to do this whole YouTube crack, you know. So I'm here in a place called Killaloo, where it all kind of started, really. And uh, yeah, this is where the vlog first originated, called the Pile of Vlog. I'll set a link to it up here. Uh, it's not very good. <laughs> I've come a long way since then. So yeah, and I've got a load of new toys. I've got the DJ running with me here. I've got the, uh, what's that called? The slider, the rhino slider, and a few other bits and bobs. So yeah, I'm going to go take some photographs where it all started in Killaloo to my gate. All right. My vlog anniversary coming up, I'm delighted to say that it can take me the whole way around Ireland and even abroad to England, Isle of Skye, Lofoten Islands and Lanzarote. And I'm currently gearing up for a trip to the Dolomites with BG Landscape Tours. Vlogging at times can be very, very challenging as you have to do three times more work on the day, carry a load of more gear, which isn't really a bother to me, but and don't get me started on editing the vlog. It can be seriously painstaking at times. In the Killaloo forest, there is not much to photograph or even video. It's still too early in the season for some nice so footage. I'm just on my way through the forest now and conditions are okay. Sun hasn't peaked over those mountains yet. The colour isn't fantastic in the sky. Uh, I'm still going to shoot away if I can. Uh, but uh, I was hoping for glass-like reflections on the water, but it doesn't seem to be like they're there, especially on the right-hand side, which I normally go for for the sunrise. So I'm just coming over to the left-hand side instead, and we're going to get the, the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro 2, which I uh, acquired a while back. So yeah, looking forward to using that now. So yeah, oh, even the one spot where I wanted to shoot is getting overgrown. I think I need to come up with a chainsaw and cut back some of these... Uh, just protruding trees. So yeah, we're gonna get on to the last jetty, my fingers crossed, we can get something. Otherwise we're gonna to to go to the other side and shoot really long exposures to help try to smooth out the water. Don't wanna do that. But, oh there's hope here, there is hope. Have a quick look now. I'll spin you around. Uh, it's a bit of movement in the water but if we can shoot nice and fast we'll be happy out so here i'm doing a bit of pre-photoshop work so these little things are sticking in the frame i'll just take them out now so it'll be better for me in the long run no? oh man i'm actually starving now that i think of it Oh, it's the joys of waking up late for your destination. It's my own fault. I'm known to blame but myself. But it doesn't distract the fact that I'm still starving. And I am the skinniest fat man in the world. Yeah. As Aaron Spoonie would say, true story, kid. True story. So now we're all set up with just a two steps off guard, so we're going to bang off a shot. ISO 50 at f8 and 0.6 of a second. 
and then we're going to see what the results show up and uh, they're quite nice some nice reflections in the water but what we're going to do now we're going to stick on a we're going to stick on a six up filter and see what how that transforms the image now oh so let's move you out of the way for the proper shot i'm not in love with this shot but i was still glad to get outdoors to help clear the head you know but this one i really like this is a shot that I took with my drone right above where I was actually standing to give it a bird's eye view and to show you exactly where I am in this location. And lastly, I tried a long exposure just to be different. I felt the color just didn't suit it, so I banged it into a black and white and give it some contrast to help that jetty pop. So I'm quite happy with that shot. Uh, lovely reflections in the lake. Just going out there now, the wind has picked up. So it is getting a bit stronger, so we're kind of losing a bit of, uh, what did you say, glass-like reflections. So it's staying at, uh, far at the distance out, but the wind is, like I said, the wind is getting stronger, so it's going to start coming in more and more. So what I'm going to do now before that all fucking takes place is set up the rhino slider. And what the rhino slider actually is, is a time-lapse tool, and it's going to be able to enable going to enable me to shoot a time lapse but it's going to be able to move the camera from x to y and uh, it gives some really really lovely results so i'll link a video to one of them from norway that i did up here i uh, go do check that out it's quite awesome really to be honest so yeah so i'm loving this whole thing i picked this up about oh gosh nearly um about two three months ago now let's say about two months ago and I've never looked back. Uh, I think it's all Gavin Sheehan's fault, the reason why he got it. And I'll link a video to where I met him up here. Uh, really nice dude. He's actually way over in uh, New Zealand or Australia at the moment, it's doing a 100 day tour or adventure. And uh, it sounds so awesome. We actually interviewed him on the podcast uh, three weeks ago, and it was really, really cool. Uh, I wouldn't like to be there. From the stories he tells me, people will be killing each other trying to get into position for photographs. It's not like here where we're all nice and lovely and humane. Humane? Yeah, so. Yeah. What is life in the bird? Enter device. We will still update. Hours updated. Ready to go. Thank you. Let's go.
Okay guys, that's going to be a wrap for today. I really enjoyed getting out shooting this morning. I didn't get the sky that I want, but hey look, it's all about getting out shooting. That's the main thing. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode guys, and I want to wish you all a happy new year. And what I've done in the last year has just been absolutely simply amazing and mind-blowing to get where I am today. Uh, with the Irish Photography Podcast, it's been a blessing in disguise with my mate Darren J. Spoonley. I'll leave a link to his channel up here. And he's such a gent, such a nice guy. Don't hold it against him, he is from Cork, but you know what I mean by? But it's not the end of the day, eh? <laughs> but look, with, uh, with the Irish Photography Podcast, it's, like I said, it's been a blessing. I got to meet all these new friends, like we've Mally Davis over in England, Wadger Catcher in Scotland, our Canadian B-roll king, Greg Snell from Canada, who's now somewhere in the world, that guy's at somewhere every week. We have Nick Page over in Oregon, and we have uh, Gavin Harcastle and Adam Gibbs up north in Canada, but both are from England. Well, Adam's from a bit all over the place, but nonetheless, he's still a cool guy. Uh, but look, they're just some of the guests that we get on all the time, and it's an absolute blessing. And don't forget, Michael O'Sullivan, the Irish champion himself, he's going to come jump on as a guest judge for our annual photography competition, Photographer of the Year. So do keep tuned for that on the Irish Photography Podcast. I'll send links down below to Spotify and iTunes and wherever you can get all your podcasts. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Happy New Year to you all. And I'm going to get out of this place. And what I'm going to do is going to leave a small bit of a highlight reel from the best parts from 2019. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hey -o. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>